Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be my fall nighttime routine. I'm gonna do it vlog style, but yeah, um, actually today is the last day of summer when I'm filming this, but it just happens to be the best day for me to film it. When you guys are watching, it's officially fall, and this is just what I've been doing recently. First off, it's like 8.30 right now, and I just got back to my room, and the first thing I'm gonna do is close these blinds because they freak me out. I used to not close my blinds, but I realized that people like are probably creepers and I just don't want people to see me when I'm naked anymore. quick intermission because I did say this was going to be a vlog styled um, get ready with me or nighttime routine but I am in my fifth week as a junior and it's been an interesting like time not related to like school I mean school has been interesting but just like a lot of like personal changes that have made this first semester very different than any of the rest. I'm in two clubs that I really enjoy. One is KU Writing um, or KU Scribble and the other is Her Campus. And then I actually just got an ambassadorship for the KU Libraries which is super exciting because they only choose I think six students um, and I didn't even have to interview for it which I thought I would um, but they went ahead and asked me to be a part of it so very excited for that. Don't know exactly what that's going to look like um, but yeah, I've been enjoying it. If you guys are new to the channel, I have lived in this room before. Also, sorry, I'm in a row right now. I'm about to take a shower if you can't tell. I've been in this room before and it's been kind of weird. I'm not gonna lie, like being back in the same space. I kind of feel like no time has passed from last year to now. And last year was a really difficult year for me. And this year has been really difficult and honestly I'm kind of blaming it on the room. Not really, I just like, I feel like so much has changed but also nothing at the same time has changed. And that's a really weird feeling to have. Um, and it's kind of confusing, like emotionally, physically, um, it's weird. Sounds like this year has been like the worst ever and honestly like yeah it has been really bad but it, there's also been a lot of good things that have happened like I've met some really good friends Anna, Grace, Ruth, Matthias they've all been like very consistent people in my life for the past six weeks since I've been back or the past seven weeks I guess because I've been here since I think August 6th, so I cannot <laughs> get through um, these past few weeks without them, so I'm very grateful for them. But anyways, sorry for the long chats. I am flossing right now because I'm going to go to the bathroom, take a shower, brush my teeth, wash my face, and get ready for bed. My go-to hairstyle when I take a shower, I use a claw clip and I just do it super high. So where it's kind of like I have like a super high ponytail. Kind of reminds me of cheer, I'm not gonna lie. I used to wear my ponytail so high where they kind of looked like this, not gonna lie. It's probably one of the most disgusting things ever and I do it all the time. So if you're around me and you see me floss, I apologize. Okay, I just got done taking a shower and I kind of wanted to talk about things that I've been using for my face. I've been struggling with acne ever since puberty started, honestly. Um, I got on birth control because of it and then my acne started getting really bad again and I did Curology and I did Curology for about two years, I think. Um, but right before the two year mark, my face started getting really bad again. Um, I'm not going to insert photos or anything just because this video like isn't about acne. If I want to talk about that in the future, that's when I'll include all those photos. But my face started getting really bad last February, February, um, or I guess February 2022, so of this year. 
and it started getting really bad and i feel like my face is starting to get a little bit better i'm still having breakouts i still have acne but recently what has been working is what has been working for me or this is what i've been using for the past month i think so what i've been using is the pore normalizing cleanser um just like a face wash i use this morning and night and then at night only i use the anti-redness exfoliating solution and then the daily skin clearing treatment so i just wash my face with this i go ahead and put the exfoliator on just like my hands and then i put it on my face i don't know maybe using like a reusable cotton round or something like that would be more effective but i really just focus it on my acne and my cheeks and then the leftovers i put on my forehead and then with this uh treatment i just put this straight on my acne it's like a it's kind of like a gel kind of i don't really know if you can see that but i will say i feel like this is helping i don't know i did just get off of birth control i've been off of it for almost a week and i'm afraid like my face is gonna start getting super bad um so hopefully this just like keeps it under control but we'll see just wanted to tell you guys um i struggle with like hormonal acne and so this i think has been working which makes me happy i have been hanging out with my friends in the evening so i think i'm going to be having a little girl sesh so i'll take you guys with um but i have been wanting to get back into a routine i just feel like my life has kind of been set astray it's it's been it's been difficult so i might hang out with them for a little bit but then but then um get back to you guys going to bed you're frozen anna you're frozen Okay, never mind. We actually FaceTimed, which was really sweet. But yeah, it's literally 9:10, and that is my bedtime routine. I'm like, this video is going to be five minutes long, and there's nothing I can do about that. New journal. I have been doing the five-minute journal. This is actually my second one. This time I have like a green, green clock bound or whatever. Turn off the light, which is probably a little scary, but. Anyways, I'm gonna share with you guys like my highlights of the day and what I learned today, which is the two questions. Um, so three highlights of the day. I got studio dinner with the girls. Um, if you guys don't know what the studio is, it's a place that I used to go to all the time freshman year. It's on Daisy Hill um, and it's like a grill and it just kind of took me back and it was really nice to just be there with different people, um, but experience like the same caring environment and I just really appreciated that another highlight of the day is I sat outside for a class class outside which was super nice we closed our eyes took some deep breaths in some deep breaths out and kind of felt our surroundings and then wrote a poem about it which I thought was really good practice it was a good way I am not the best poetry writer so it was super fun to like lean into that um, yeah, another highlight of the day is I did not cry today and I know that might sound sad, um, which it kind of is, but I've been crying probably every day for the past 17 days or so, 18 days. So that is an accomplishment. What did I learn today? Um, I think I learned that it's okay to say no to things sometimes. And that isn't because I said no to anything in particular, but just seeing like some of my friends saying no to things that aren't necessarily beneficial to them in that time. So yeah, I really don't know why my AirPods are in. Like <laughs> I'm not listening to anything right now. Sorry, I think they're just there for comfort, honestly. I really want to read. I've been reading the same book for a few weeks and I think I just need to pick up something new and see if I can read it. I have, I think, three books on my TBR for the month of September that I haven't read. One, well, one of them is the one I'm currently reading. So I have two books that I kind of want to choose out of. Hopefully get me back into the reading mood. It's this particular series from Blood and Ash that's kind of put me in a reading rut and I don't really like reading ruts. 
So, we're gonna pick up one of those books. I'm gonna lay down in bed and I'm gonna get ready to sleep. Welcome to my bed. <laughs> I actually feel like I have been in my bed for a lot of videos in this particular angle. So apologies for that, but this is a book I chose. So Wife Between Us, I obviously haven't read it, don't know really what it's about, but I'm super excited because it says Gone Girl. So that's super exciting for me because I love Gone Girl. But anyways, I'm gonna read this, I'm gonna go to bed, and I'm gonna end this video. So kind of just wanted to take you along on a fall night routine. It's very basic, it's very straightforward, it is short. If you guys want to see like a fall morning routine i feel like my morning routines are a lot longer um so i definitely do that if you're interested just let me know and i'll talk to you guys in the next one peace and love bye guys